In this video, we are going to answer a typical exam question about sequences. We are given the following sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, which is a list of numbers that are increasing in size. And we are firstly asked to write down the next term in the sequence. The next part of the question is harder and is typical of what you might be asked in your exam. This asks us to find an expression for the nth term and most of this video will focus on what this means and also give you a formula that you can use for any similar question you might be asked about sequences. So it is my hope that this will be useful exam preparation. So let's begin by answering part A. To do this, we firstly look at the amount the sequence increases or decreases for each step. So here, it increases by 3 because 5 plus 3 is 8. Then it increases by another 3, and then 3 more, and so on. So to find the next term, we simply need to add 3 onto 14, which is 17. So when we are asked for the next term, we can write down that it is 17. Now that the easy part is over, let's focus on what we are being asked to do in part B. To do this, I firstly want to focus on what is meant by the term n, because n simply means the position a number has in the sequence. So here, n is 1, because 5 is the first term in the sequence. When n is 2, we get 8, and we get 11 when n is 3, and so on. So the nth term in the sequence is a way of describing the position of a number in the sequence, where n can be any positive integer. So n could be 10, for example, which means the 10th number in the sequence, or 61, which means the 61st number in the sequence, and so on. So what part b is asking us to do is find an algebraic expression that would enable us to calculate the number we would get at any position in the sequence. Because if we wanted to find the 200th number in the sequence, it would take us a long time to write out the sequence as a long list of numbers. So we need to use an algebraic expression to speed things up. So to do this, we use the following formula where the nth term equals d times n plus a minus d. a is the first term, which is 5, and d is the difference between the terms, which we found to be 3. So we can use these numbers to find the nth term. We firstly find dn, which is the difference between the terms multiplied by n. So we can write 3n because we know that d equals 3. Next we need to find a minus d. Well, a equals 5 because it is the first term in the sequence, minus 3, the difference between each term, which gives us 2. So we write plus 2 in our expression, which gives us our answer to part b. We can check our answer by checking if the expression works. So when n equals 3, our expression tells us that the sequence number is 3 times 3 plus 2, which is 11, so it looks correct. If we check for n equals 5, we get 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 2, which is 17, so again our algebraic expression is correct. We have therefore found a quick way to find the number at any position in the sequence. I hope this video has helped you and will enable you to answer your questions about sequences. Please press like to help this video reach others. It will help my channel to grow and be a source of help to mathematics students around the world. Thank you.